Dark Souls guy versus Skyrim guy. Who's gonna win this fight? Well, I'm rooting the chosen on that. But why? He's so screwed on this one. Because I like to roll out. This is how Dark Souls fans avoid their problems. I'm basically spin dashing for my life on this one. No, another personal wall of text. Stop this fool who would let the flame burn the age of humans to ashes. The fight was awesome! God, it had like the best tension scene of all the show. I mean, just look at this whole sequence. Who the fuck is gonna win this fight? I'll be honest with you guys. In this part, I totally forget about all the logic, all the scans, all the arguments. Like, the Chosen was totally fucked up. And then... The Dragonborn couldn't scream. He haven't a voice. Without a voice. Without hope. Without a past. Without a future. Without a chance. But then he just force rode that the shit out of the oven. And then... Yeah. The Chosen died, but hey, he can finally rest in peace, he's finally out of this war, but the world was taken over by the darkness, everything is over, the evil win this time. But hey, look at this sequence, it's so fucking funny! This is me avoiding the voices in my head, they're telling me that I'm a piece of shit but I'm just rolling out, the music is just... Exquisite! We have Brandon Yates and the others. 9 out of 10! Pretty solid episode. Maybe too solid on some parts. Well, show me the next time, baby! And again, this music sounds familiar, and not in a good way. Now I have. We finally have magical index on death battle. And well, Huntrix Hunter, you got this, Misaka. Beat him with a smile on your face and a spark on your heart. Boss, brother.